culture, richness, um, integrity, pride. Um, and we see the ways in which these characters that we that we we left in, in Infinity War um, and Endgame resurface and, and what they're dealing with. You know, Shuri is the <clears throat> the heartbeat of Black Panther One. She's fun, courageous, quirky, funny, tech genius, princess, um, and so enamored, like and in awe of her brother and she loses him and we see this woman with a broken heart and in a way um, we have to journey with her and with the rest of the Wakandan family through this. Everyone brought so much of themselves to this and just let it rip you know but what I'd say is that for me like the arc of Shuri just will take your breath away I think because the Shuri we met in the first Black Panther has gone through a few life altering experiences and she's in a very different place. And I think it's gonna be cool for people to see how a woman can evolve over time. It feels incredible. Like, you know, we it really was about honoring Chadwick, uh, creating this film, doing going doing this film every day. That's that was the that's the, the anchor if you were be, you know, you knew that was the anchor and that was the thing that was really uh, being focused on in, in our intent. So to, to share that with the world, I think it's something that I've heard people say it was a process of watching it allowed this world that really loved him also to, to have their process with him. I hope audiences are comforted and that they recognize that grief is very much a part of life and that they embrace the process. And I hope they have a great time. I hope they are marveled by the new world of Talokan as well as the expansion of Wakanda. And I hope ultimately they feel hope. <laughs>